Hello and welcome to Miner, does a bonus guide in Age of Empires 2 The Conquerors. This is for Civilizations, and this video we're playing as the Saracens. So the Saracens unique unit is the Mameluke, which is essentially a cavalry version of the Franks for throwing axemen. They cost eight, uh, sorry, 55 food and 85 gold. Quite a, a lot, but if I just show you what they're like, 85 hit points, 7 attack, which is infantry um, me melee attack, not arrow pierce attack, and then 0 0 armor and 3 range. But unlike the throwing aspen, they get to run around much quicker on camels. If I were to go to the blacksmith, the attack is not with the attack upgrades, is not with the bodkin arrows or fletching or bracer, it's with the melee ones. So if I were to go to the Imperial Age, the upgrade to Elite Mameluke costs, costs 600 food and 500 gold. Not a lot, but 85,7003. They're now on 100 hit point, 10 attack, 1, 0 armor and 3 range. So a fully upgraded, actually wait, no, it's not quite fully upgraded because that, uh, 10 spent speed. Fully upgraded Elite Mameluke has 100 hit points. 14 attack, 4-4 four, four armor and 3 range, but their unique technology is Zealotry, which costs six, 750 food and 800 gold, and what that does is it adds an extra 30 hit points to camels and mamelukes. So if I bring out a heavy camel, heavy camel have 140 hit points, very, they cost less gold. They cost the same amount of food as a Mameluke, but they cost 25 less gold. And they're much, much more, uh, much better I think than the Mamelukes in terms of their hit points, but not really for their armour and attack, and not really up uh, range, because camels don't get any. So if we get that, camels on, heavy camel on 140, elite Mameluke on 100, get Zealotry, 170 hit points, and 130 for the elite Mamelukes. So they, both of those together, make quite a good um, small army to have against any enemies that there might be. The Saracen's team bonus is that foot archers have a plus one attack against building. Now personally I think this isn't that great of a um, a team bonus to have, well, bonus in general, but it's useful for civilization like the Britons, because the Britons have their longbowmen, and their longbowmen have long range, uh, a maximum of 12 range. So if they were trying to destroy a building from afar, having a one extra attack against a building would be quite useful indeed. The Saracens, they came from, it would be around where, where the Middle East is in the north parts of Africa, and that area is known for its trade routes in many things such as fabrics and gold and any other thing I can't think of at the moment. But this has led to the bonus of market trade costing only 5%. So. I believe that when, if I were to create a market, you can see here I could sell 100 wood for 95 gold, and you don't get coinage or um, I forgot what the other one is called, but it's quite useful to have because if you're playing as a Saracens in a random game and you get into a situation later on, you know, you're, everyone's all fully upgraded and it's just a case of trying to create as many units as you can to defeat the enemy. Having a market trade of 5% is very useful because you most likely have a lot of wood and food, not as much gold and stone. So you can quickly sell off a lot of wood and food for that gold. Another bonus for the Saracens is that transport ships have two times the hit points and they can carry twice as much. So normally they have 100 hit points, but now they have 200. Now I haven't got any upgrades in terms of capacity, but transport ships normally have 5 um, capacity, now they have 10. 
So if we get careening, they go up to 15 capacity. And if we get dry dock, they go up to 25 capacity. So it's a very useful thing to have, just that extra 5 on the transport ships as well. The galleys from the... and it would be possibly the war galleys and galleon, they fire 20% faster. And this is quite useful for a water-based match, because obviously you want to be able to defeat the enemy as much as you can. And I suppose if you're doing grush wars, where you rush the enemy with galleys, having that extra 20% speed on attacking would be quite useful in defeating an enemy, especially in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And the final upgrade that the uh, upgrade, the final bonus that the Saladin can get, is it ties in with their tomb bonus, where foot archers get plus one attack against buildings. But the Saladin bonus is that cavalry archers get plus three attack against buildings. Now it's a shame it wasn't. Well, actually no, it's not a shame really, but it's useful because let's find out if I get. Uh, let's see. So a cavalry archer in the thousands can have 10 attack maximum and they can get 6 armour for pierce. But if they're firing against a building, they, they could have a go at town centres because town centres can't get range upgrades. So they'll be able to get a town centre with their 7 range. But instead of 10 attack, they would do 13 attack against the buildings. Those have been the bonuses for the thousands. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part, which shall be for the Spanish.